Ladies and gentlemen, Arnon on Milshon. Arnon. Give it to the first guy. All right. Go ahead. I'm not. I'm, well, I. I can try. All right. So, um, thank you. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> so, um, I'm really shy. I so I don't know how to compete with all these uh, great. Uh, Directors, directors, writers, funny men. Um, um, I'm very lucky, actually. Um, in the beginning, I knew nothing. Uh, so nobody told me I should do a three hours and 47 minutes called Once Upon a Time in America, King of Comedy, Brazil. But then I have two people here by chance, Oliver Stone and Danny DeVito. And one year, I did this movie. I didn't do, I don't do movies. I help movie makers. I'm not a movie maker. I'm a fuel to movie makers. Um, so um, one year, nobody wanted to do this movie about a hooker and a um, thing uh, called 3000, it became Pretty Woman. I bought it for $2,500. I got noticed. And then, in the same year, I met this guy. And I was uh, saying, well, if I do this one, let's do a crazy one about divorce. Everybody dies. Uh, we went with Jim Brooks. and. Um, when I was in trouble on LA Confidential, because um, um, we had two Australian, nobody heard of, Russell Crowe and, um, what's his name, Danny, the other one? Huh? Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. All right, Guy Pierce. I called Danny and said, hey, Danny, uh, we need some American, please, please, please. He said, how much? I said, I, well, you write the check, but. One condition, tell me, I need, I need to, um, I need Kevin Spacey. I will only do it if you get Kevin Spacey. So I had to call Kevin and beg him. But then uh, somebody at Warner Brothers, uh, Bob Daly, uh, said, you know, Arno, can you come to our office and sign this? Uh, so what is that? <laughs> is it, uh, something called first look deal. I said, what is first look deal? So we'll pay your offices, your overhead, and uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I said, what does it mean? Uh, it means you cannot spend your own money anymore. To cut a long story short, uh, I realized that that's not freedom. That's going to jail. So... Uh, <laughs> I found, and uh, some people know, you know, the Canal Plus, the neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. But then they told me there is one guy you should meet because you will get along because he's as bad as you. His name is Oliver Stone. And um, I think between Danny and Oliver, they shaped my career, call it a career, I don't know, my work, my, I don't, my passion. I love art. I collect only what I love. I pay for it. It became from painting to sculpture to movies. And Oliver uh, and I were married, uh, like you and I, but it's different. He, he never makes me laugh. He scares me. <laughs> it, first of all, <clears throat> I have to t make a confession. I have frogs in my throat. Uh, Nobody knows. Um, uh, but Oliver and I, um, after JFK, and you have no idea. I, I took this, mo this business seriously. I used to travel with Oliver to Dallas, to Houston, to wherever he was, and 
like thinking being on the set is making a movie. Uh, and he made me believe that, you know. So, but then we had to go a little higher to natural born killers and God, I mean, uh, it took crazy, too crazy, man. And then I must tell you, I just saw the most beautiful movie Oliver did. Uh, I was part of it, but Oliver made, I re-saw it after 23 years, I think, I haven't seen it, called Heaven and Earth. And I urge every single person to re-see this movie. I cried and cried and cried and cried the whole movie. Uh, I, I'm not here to talk about Oliver or Danny. I'm here to talk about me. So me, want to thank you very much. I don't know what to say more, but this is a great award. I'm very grateful because this is, uh, I'm finishing, by the way. Uh, this is the last, the, no, <laughs> this is the first time I get an award that I know I get it in advance. Normally I go, uh, will I get it? So thank, thank you, thank you, thank you.